Radio Shouty. Sense, bro. For you, Toon, as a producer, what was your favorite time in the industry getting busy that you felt like, you know what, I'm just having my way out here? Uh, going and working on that trap music project because okay. we was getting interviewed from everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and you know, it was me and Tip now, we were more closer because yeah. I was really like the third party of Grand Hustle at that point. Mm-hmm. And a few things changed, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, the way I was like, oh, I'm really not a part of Grand Hustle, <laughs> but I'm working with Grand Hustle. But around that time, man, I ain't gonna lie, it was it was great because I felt like, wow, all this time I've been wondering when I was gonna really just have my finger on the button, on the pulse, and somebody who I could really just say I developed it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so as a answer man me and this, as an artist, you know. I just gotta superstar. go there then to how do you deal with that, man, when you know that you heard that demo tape and then you see the label get formed without you? Oh, uh, it was heartbreaking for a minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it, it got to the point where I'm like, all right, damn, do y'all remember? Because sometimes people have, you know, some people. Selective memory. Selective memory. Then you have some people who may not remember. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, come on, Jay, come on, Tip. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the one who introduced you guys. <laughs> I, <laughs> I brought both of y'all under my wings and said, let's go. But we worked, like I say, we worked it out. Um, to this day, though, I would always say, you know, we, we, I made money with them, but we never truly to this day got money together. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, yeah. what, all the money I made with dealing with Tip and, you know, with Grand Hustle and them was just really just. Producer and, money. Yeah, producer and, and Atlantic cutting the check yeah. because they were supposed to as a label. Yeah. But it's never a really, it wasn't no relationship like Will Smith and, um, and Jazzy, Jazzy Jeff. Yeah. You know, he was like, okay, yeah. I got a TV show. Boom. Okay, Jeff yeah. is there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just, you know. How did that I way. I felt like I wasn't really a partner at the, after a while. I was like, okay, let me just, that's when I started building Zone Boy, you know? How did that strain y'all relationship, though, man? Because, I mean, as a man, just having to deal with that kind of stuff, I mm-hmm. know it's got to be kind of sticky. Yeah. And then, also, it's hood niggas. Because I know how niggas talk behind closed doors. Those conversations ain't. Hey, excuse me, man. I feel like I've been cut out of a deal. It's motherfucker, where my goddamn money at? Where my money at? Yeah. Come it, on. It, it, it was um, it was crazy for a minute, man. You know, my manager had to, you know, I had to bring my management in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of slash business partner, one yeah. of my best friends, Bernard Parks. What up, though, Nod? Uh, Tommy Run is kicking ass right now. Yes, sir. We deliver building materials Woo. within same day or twenty four hours. My God, which no one else could do that right come now. Come on, come on. On that whole pattern. <laughs> so, um. Um, but it took for him to really come in because I noticed, and I would love to definitely let a lot of producers know this too, is on a lot of situations, it really ain't us for, up, up for us to really, we can speak, but you got to get your management to really get folks to really understand, you know, a lot of times because you got to kind of let them be the bad guy to a certain degree. Yeah. And that's what real, you know, that's what it's really about. And I almost turned, I basically I almost turned to the bad guy <laughs> in that situation because come on, man, it's like, come on, hey, dude. But like I say, to this day, it's love. Me and Jay still talk at least twice a month. That's dope. I don't hardly talk to Tip too tough. We all right. But, yeah. you know, we still, you know, we, we went to his birthday party or whatnot. It was cool. But um, a lot of times, that just really, that, 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 that when those situations happen to anything, whether it's a real estate or a, a owner of a restaurant, yeah. if you just feel that you were cut off, sometimes they just make you want to go out and start your own shit, you know? Exactly. 